maybe it's not a technology, it's actually it's more than a technology, it's a, it's a process, it's a, it's a policy, um, people must be involved, all the uh, people in the organization not, should um, be aware of what's BEM and, um, and the business value of BEM in the organization. We managed to capture all the clashes before it built at the site, so there's uh, you can cost saving, and also uh, architects can visualize the their works before it's built at the site. For the conventional way, we have the two Ds that we built at the site. Maybe during the design stage, then uh, will be uh, less work. Then during the construction phase, then you have more work because you need to build at the site. Then clash detection, you need to demolish and you need to build again. Whereas if you have in the beam model. You have to spend more time at the beginning stage, which is the design phase. Then you will have lesser work when you reach the construction phase because you have solved all the issues before you reach the site. A lot of experts actually uh, anticipated that BEM reduce around 20% of the construction waste if it's implemented in a, in a strong way and robust way in the project. And actually, we are. Uh, I think we, we we have detected a lot of clashes, a lot of clashes that could have possibly passed to the site. So uh, indeed, indeed, there are some significant uh, value here um, in terms of avoiding this kind of reworks and abortive works inside. <laughs>